It is what it is. The Bible says in uh, Luke 4, um, 7, 8, <clears throat> said, The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, my brother, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good, of good report, if it be any virtue, if it be any praise, think on these things. Um, that's my wife's Bible there. <clears throat> it is what it is. Now that doesn't mean that we ignore things that's going on wrong around us. But some people think on these things all the time. Um, you can't get away from trouble by running from it. You can't get uh, accomplished things by worrying about it either. So the, the best thing that we can do is, uh, is um, trust, trust God. Trust Him. Whatsoever things are lovely. Think on these things. Think on the things that cause us to become a, a higher godly person. A more godly person. <clears throat> My sister-in-law, who is not saved, she found out she had cancer, and uh, she called up my wife, and she had obviously thought about it for a while, and um, she told my wife, uh, "Oh, excuse me." <laughs> a lot of people are going to want to watch that she told my wife she says it is what it is you know and she you could almost hear the the depthness of and the sorrow of her heart uh, in that and she's she's determined that she, there's nothing she can do you know but just face the situation and uh and so she spoke the words, it is what it is. And some people don't know that we have a higher hope. We have a higher hope than the people of the world for uh, things that are going wrong in our life. You know, it is what it is, but God is the problem fixer in our life. When the Lord comes in, the problems don't seem so big anymore because everything in the room is measured by the biggest object there. And believe me, God is the biggest object in any room. <clears throat> and I'm glad that He is God. I, I wouldn't want to try to take the responsibility of filling so many pairs of shoes or taking care of so many problems or anything like that. You know, I, I'd often thought I'd like to have a lot of money and, and uh, see what it would take, you know, see what I could do with it, see what it would take to actually uh, keep me occupied and how much I could get accomplished and you know I might <laughs> I might uh, get so busy man I just work myself to death especially if it's a ministry thing or or, or things like that but you know some people they get so busy in that they forget they forget that they they came there for the ministry and what it is and who it's for and the fact that we're supposed to be compassionate in it. 
some preachers, man, they lose their compassion and they they put funny in its place, and some of them put arrogance, and some of them put uh, a forceful attitude. You know, uh, they'll be uh, have a forward type of. It's like I'm Mr. Macho, and if you don't follow me, you're just going nowhere in life, and that type of thing. But that's that's not what God intended for us, for people that are sick. He didn't intend that. You know, the reason why there's so, so, such a big gap between the church and between uh, the people anymore is because um, this attitude, you know, the modern television evangelism uh, association. That's why, and it continues to grow. And uh, God didn't mean for it to be that way. The loose track, and, and it just that's why so many people are going to the big church because you know they they don't have to put up with so much of that. I mean, at least they got somebody in there saying, um, You're gonna be all right, you're gonna feel fine, everything's gonna be good, blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> whether you are or not. <clears throat> they got them, you know, after about 10 years of going to this church. They got to be wondering why some of these things aren't beginning to happen, you know, like the preacher said that they were ten years ago, <laughs> preaching the same thing every day since. But it is what it is in heaven. The Bible says God will meet all of our needs according to His riches and glory. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's the is what it is. We need a new hope. Don't, don't just give up on stuff, you know. Yeah, things get bad. Things drag on. Uh, we wait for God's promise. We wait for God's promise. We wait for God's promise. But but uh, God is long-suffering. Don't forget, God is long-suffering, brother. It is what it is. Okay. Yeah, man. God bless. Thanks for joining me. Come back again next time. Another great subject right here on Cross in the Middle Ministry.